What is happening, everybody? Jam's back with another video for you. Yes, that's right, you guys, all you metalheads and rockers out there. And I hope y'all are having a great Sunday and a great weekend. And today, I'm going to be bringing you a band that we brought to the channel probably at least five or six times. They have their own video on, and they deserve it as well. This might give away a hint. Maybe. And uh, so anyway, yeah, we're going to be ranking their masks it's going to be a little bit different of a tier list it's going to be a little bit different of a tier list today we're going to be ranking the slipknot masks there's quite a few masks here so i'm not going to be going on with this intro for too long but you guys if you like this idea give it a thumbs up if you guys like what's going on with the channel and you want to further further support me it'd be much appreciated you don't have to but it's much appreciated then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading things. All right, let's get into the tier list. All right, everybody. So pretty straightforward rankings. We got superior A, B, C, D, F. I'm pretty sure that you guys can make common sense of that. Shouldn't be too hard, right? So it looks like it appears to me looking at this list, all the masks go from the first record to the latest. I am, I suppose. So I'm just going to assume that this is from Slipknot, the first mask here. I always wondered if like, this mask, like the dreads, were actually a part of the mask, or if Corey just had them poking through the mask. I always wondered that. Not sure. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know the answer to that. But this is, like, definitely an A for me. It's not quite superior, but it's a very iconic mask. And then McTonson's mask, I can't see it all too well. But I, I, I give that mask, like, a C just because I can't see it too well. And then we got Jimmy Roots from this era. I mean, just kind of an okay mask. I'll put in C. It's not bad. It's okay. We got Craig Jones, um, the needle guy, uh, pinhead, whatever I want to fucking call him. I, I get this mask like a solid B. It's it's solid. I mean, I'm not going to give it anything below a, a B. He might come at me with them needles. I, I don't know, man. I guess this is Sid. I, that's what I assume here. And honestly, I don't even remember him wearing this mask, to tell you the fucking truth. But it looks creepy. Honestly, I really like it a lot. Again, we got a really creepy one here with Clown, or Sean, and, um, well, shit, where do you put this one? I actually really, really think that's dominant as fuck. We're going to put that in Superior. And then we got Paul Gray, rest in peace. I'm going to be saying that a lot with this video, unfortunately. This mask is a C. It's solid. Not bad. Then we got, of course, again, rest in peace, Joey Jordanson. Uh, his first mask is really, really awesome. I... I think that's an A. I really like the hair, too, going down. Like, the highlighted, I guess you call that hair. We got Corey's mask from... Okay, this looks like Subliminal Versus, though. Yeah. So, I guess he wore that mask on the first two records, which is fine. It's a great mask. Um, This this is this is the mask I know, like, you know, better than any. Um, This is the mask that he was wearing in the duality video, which is my first sight of Slipknot, the first time I listened to them as well, so, you know, to me, it's iconic, I love his hair, you know, I love, I love the hair color coming out of it, I just, I, I fucking just adore this mask, it's superior, and then, okay, it looks like we have another version of maybe the first record or the second record, this mask is okay, I'll put it in C, I guess, I like that one more, um, it just looks more together, Honestly, no, this gets a D for me. Um, kind of looks like something I would do if I were to make a mask. And uh, we got Subliminal. I think that's Subliminal versus Mick. It might be it might be Iowa Mick. This mask is pretty fucking cool. I, I mean, it doesn't really look that different from the next one that we see up here. Um, honestly, so I, it's just kind of like a B. It's good. It's solid. And then... I feel like I got to do the same thing with that one. So we're just going to throw that one up there. This one's just kind of okay. It's not bad. I'm going to put that in C, Jimmy's. And then we got Pinhead. I like how the needles are a little longer on this one. It's a little freakier. We'll put that in A. That's pretty elite. And I'm guessing this is Sid? I suppose? Skeleton looking motherfucker here. Um, I'm going to put that one in B. That's a pretty cool mask. I'm not going to lie. But it's not quite enough for A or Superior. Then we have, of course, Clown again. And this is this has got to be Subliminal Versus, right? I, I remember him wearing that during that period. He just looks beat up. And, and yeah, this one gets a B for me. 
Then we got Chris Fane's mask, and I think this is the mask that I no, actually it's this mask that I own. We'll get to that in a minute. This mask is gonna be. I'll, I'll give it a solid B. It's a good grade. Oh, okay, I really like this Paul Gray mask. This is sick as fuck. This gets a superiority for me. I love the. I just love the coloring. It. He looks. He he looks like a werewolf or something. Like he looks like a I have something crazy. And I like the. I guess like I don't think that's thunder strikes, but um, or lightning strikes rather. I, I it just kind of looks like lines. It just looks cool, man. It's superior. I love this George Jordison mask. This is his best one in my opinion. It, it, it might be just because of the subliminal versus uh, bias, but this is superior to me, man. Okay, all hope is gone era here with Corey. And this is, like, honestly a fucking great mask. It, it, it's There's something about it. I don't know what to compare it to, and that's fine. So we're going to put that in superior. I always dug that mask. I saw the Cycle Social video. That was the first sight from that era. And I was just like, this mask is great. It, it, it's fantastic. Okay, we got Mick, Tom uh, Mick Thompson again. Uh, I'll give this mask like a C. It's just kind of solid. And then I feel like this one has to go in A as well. It just looks the same, honestly. And then we have another, I guess, Pugray mask? Um, Not sure Um, exactly about this one. Can't see it all too well. We'll just put that one in C. It just kind of looks okay. And this is Clown again. This looks a little newer, to be honest. I don't think this was... Wait, wait, was this All Hope is Gone here? No, it's not, because All Hope is Gone is down here. I know that's from All Hope is Gone. There's a bunch of these here. Um, not sure. That might be from We Are Not Your Kind. But I really like this mask. It's, it's, it's super, super, super detailed. And it makes him look like a fucking like, mental patient. <laughs> so, then we have... Okay, that's the mask I own. It's not... It's more of a rubbery mask that I own, but yeah, that mask is sick. It, it goes in A. And Paul Gray, this one's going to go in C. Okay, this is all Hope Joey right here. And I really always liked the Crown of Thorns and stuff like that. That was always, like, really, really fucking sick to me. I actually really think this should go in Superior. It, he, he just, he, he really nailed it with that one. And we have, that's, that's definitely a great chapter era, Corey. It's gotta be, or we are not your kind, maybe even, but, um, I mean, think this mask is just kind of okay. It's like, it's not bad. It's a B. Um, Vic Thompson, it's, it's I just feel like all his masks kind of look the same. So B, I guess. Okay. This is probably my favorite Jimmy Root one, to be honest. And, uh, that's going to go in A for me. Pinhead, he, I guess, kind of has to go in A, you know? I mean, his mask kind of just looked the same. This one is a D for me from Jimmy. That looks like the first record to me. And this is Sid here. I really like this gas mask kind of look. Um, We're going to put that in B. And then this is Clown, I believe, from All Hope It's Gone. I, I, that's, that's my guess. This one's okay. Like, I'll put it in C. And then Chris Fane, I guess, from All Hope It's Gone. And... Maybe the album after. I'm not even sure. Yeah, this 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 is gonna go and see. And this is this is okay. This is Corey from We Are Not Your Kind. I I'm pretty damn sure. This is a creepy one, man. Like like I I feel like I've said that word a lot, but um, no, nah, but this 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 is B for me. B for me. B tier. The detailing on this picture is better, so it makes the mask look a lot better. But yeah, it's just. I'll just put it in B. I don't know really where to put that one. Um, this Jimmy Root mask, I'll put in B. I, I think it's just like a tight, solid mask. Um, okay, shorter needles on this one here. So uh, we're going to go back down to see it with that one. I really dig this Sid mask. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite Sid masks. This is what he was wearing live when I went to go see him. And he just kind of... Look like a nincompoop, like like a nincompoop in a good way. Like that's just kind of how he portrays himself on stage, just like crazy person. Um, superior. I, I actually really really love that mask. Okay, this one, I'll put this one in D, if I'm being honest. Okay, this one this looks really really detailed. Uh, this is clown, right? I'm pretty sure. Um. I really think that's a good one. So that's superior, but A, I think, is appropriate. This is the new bass player. I, I don't honestly remember his name off the top of my head. But I'll give it a B. 
B. I think that's just kind of a cool mask and nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. This is Jay's mask. I like how he did his own thing. He didn't go, Joey, which is great. And he's a fantastic drummer, by the way. Really, really good performer. Um... Where would I put his mask, though? Uh, is a good question. Uh, I just put it in C. It's a, it's a solid mask. It's not bad. Honestly, I don't even know which member this is. Oh, 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 oh sorry. This is actually the guy that replaced Chris Fane. Yeah, it's an okay mask. I, I'll just put it in C. It's just kind of solid. And uh, that said Wilson from a minute ago. I'll put that one C as well. Clown, this, is probably, this might be I, one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. That goes in A. You just have to. You don't know what he's thinking. Um, Chris Fane, again. Um, what are we doing with this mask? I ah, put it in C. And then that's that's like the pig mask from Paul Gray. Um, that was cool. I want to put that in B. And then Joey, the, the, his mask always have just looked good. I I just think that's kind of gonna be B and A. All right, guys. So where are you guys putting the Slipknot mask? Of course, if you want to do your own list. I will put the link in the description down below for you guys to go do your own list and feel free to share it with me what you guys think. You can screenshot your list to me. You can just talk about it to me. Just shoot me a message, whatever, you know, on all my social media handles, which are right down below here at the bottom of the screen. If you guys want to go follow me on there and message me on there and have a conversation, then uh, feel free to do so. Of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and give this channel a subscribe it really really helps you out a lot and also ring that notification bell so you guys know when i'm uploading stuff just like this of course and until next time guys jams out